Food. That was refreshing.
tastes good. I'm not picky. Having a little peep.
It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. on wheels. Be smart, fast, lucky, or just wear some armor.
That was a thrusting. Gonna have a look around. Spotted you.
The roly poly. Nature's hockey puck. I'm not picky. Surprisingly awesome? This smells gross. And I usually like the weird scratch and sniff smells. Technologies, Dr. Wendell Tolley, Science Division, Log 88.07.01. First test demonstration of the spacer. Director Dalton Schmechter in attendance. Begin recording. Everyone, thank you for coming. Today, I will show you nothing less than a quantum leap forward in technology. This is the spacer. It is a machine that has the power to shrink any object many times over, unleashing the power of the miniature world. Now.
Now, I'm sure that some of you will be skeptical, but I have no doubt that a demonstration of this device will show you a vision of the future, of Ominent's future, of our future. Now, if you will all put on your peeper goggles, I'll begin the demonstration. Behold, the future! I assure you. Just give me a moment. I, I can fix this. I can fix this. Dominant Practical Technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, Science Division, Log 87.08.31C. Today's gluon trials were a complete failure. Apparatus destroyed, no useful test data, perhaps Dr. Klein was right. Another year's research down the train, I had felt so sure of it. For my sake, I need success. But nothing is working. Not the gluon, nor the scabby. Not even the confounded napkin bags. But what if I revisited an older project? Hmm. Hmm. No. Oh, no, 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 definitely not. Perhaps, no. Wait, that's it, the shrink machine. Initial explorations had been promising before Dalton put the kibosh on it. I could set it up in the basement. If I showed that it worked, surely they could not argue with results. It's worth a try. What do I have to lose?
Take that, vampires! Chow down. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing.
just kept the figure in the packaging, it would be worth so much more. around
Just like a fruit pounder.
This is way cooler than my ant farm back home. All geared up. There's so many of you, I can't even count them all. Red, black. All the colors of the ant rainbow. Brown, red, black. All the colors of the ant rainbow.
flash. No lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. Burgle transcription unit 90.5.1, order number 43. Do it again, Burgle, for old time's sake. What's that, Dr. Tully? Play the old script. Right away! Hello, and welcome to Roby's Classic Automated Burger Shop. My name is Burgle, and I will be taking your order today. Perhaps I can interest you in the daily specials? My favorite is the Roby's 0.375 pounder with cheese with a side of mammal-style fries. That will do just fine, Burgle. Remember the Roby B -B Burger motto. Make every day exponentially great! told me science could be this exciting. Red, black, all the colors of the ant rainbow. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not picky. Check it out! I bet there's treasure there! <laughs> Gonna have a look around.
If only chemistry class was this easy. I'd like to summarize the results of today's mixer trials. Ready to take your dictation! Trials 1 and 2 were aborted due to mechanical failure. Now, trial 3. Trial 3 was interesting. Wait, Burgle, what is that? It looks like a gathering of ants. Well, I can see that, but what... agitated some of the local fauna, so that's enough for today, Burgle. All right, Shadows. What you got now? Tastes good. has been behaving strangely. I have noted in some of our interactions that he has been taking liberties with my instructions besides his usual displays of incompetence. But just the other day, I heard him humming a tune about grilling. He thought I could not hear him, but I did. And I have told him again and again to eliminate that unnecessary function from his programming, and yet still I know he harbors secret thoughts of grilling. Oh. 
I was certainly right to isolate him from the experiments. One can only imagine how his malformed programming could be contaminating my research. I'll need to review my security protocols to make sure no further contamination occurs. The security cameras are now installed across the yard, and I've assigned Burgle to overseeing Tasty and Arker operations. A little insurance that my progress on raw science enrichment doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Neither Ominent, nor Insect, nor Robot will have access to my research now. Science, you are off the hook. Chow down. I don't need this now. Abnormalities in the readings, unexpected power fluctuations, raw science run rampant. Don't forget incursions by local fauna. Mouthy robotic assistants. I'm so tired. All these new variables that need to be accounted for, they're ruining everything in my most desperate hour. It has all turned against me. Even as I walk around the backyard, I feel the walls of grass closing in on me, the tips of those green blades like daggers pointed at my heart. I see, no, I feel the unblinking, multifaceted eyes of the ants and spiders reflecting my misshapen visage, watching, always watching, and bearing witness to my failure. Perhaps it is time for me to lay down and admit defeat. Perhaps this is all the success that was meant for me. Perhaps it is enough. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not picky. told me science could be this exciting.
Take that, vampires! Just like a fruit pounder.
what's around. I see you.
That was refreshing. All right, Shadows. What you got now? of raw science concentrate has been, for better or worse, spread across the art. Given the unseen hands that move against me, it seems that no precaution is too much, no suggestion from my paranoid psyche too preposterous. What a pathetic state of affairs, overrun by an enraged ant colony, and here I stand, naked, naked, to the unblinking eyes spying upon my every move. Layers of abandonment and failure, like a frumpy, naked, failure onion. But who sheds a tear for us, Burgle? Is it the onlookers in the shadows? Is it whomever stumbles upon our toilings down here in the muck? This should please you all. Dr. Wendell Tully, humbled again. Well, enjoy your laughs, cruel winds of fate. But this onion has one more stink left to make. And sorry, old friend, but I'm going it alone. Deleting data stores and running lab lockdown procedures. Wendell.
Whoa, 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 black soldier ant looking for a fight.
Hmm. Damn. Give me a plate of this. Tastes good. Nice and safe. If only chemistry class was this easy. Some people at school think tipping over trash cans is the height of entertainment and comedy.
black. That's all she wrote. Be smart, fast, lucky, or just wear some armor. Mental log, ominous practical technologies, Tolly. Go, oh, whatever, I'll sort it later. The important thing is, I have done it! Success! The spacer has worked its magic! I have successfully shrunk a set of basic plastic polyhedral dice from the size of standard dice to no bigger than the size of, well, much smaller dice. Uh, Burgle, make a note to come up with a better comparison. Noting! You did it, nonetheless. This is a complete exoneration. However, it occurs to me that I have a new problem. The dice were intended to be young foe's Christmas present. He will be disappointed. But perhaps I can convince him that they were miniature dice. The tiny instructions might be a bit of a giveaway. A new solution may be required. To the fun pit toy mart before they close.
I'm feeling more sciencey already. Black and there, black ants get everywhere. Black and here, black and there, black ants get everywhere. All geared up.
vampires. Be smart, fast, lucky, or just wear some armor.
Nice and safe. I'm not picky.
today. Eureka! The last one! You have found it! It is finally time that we can complete the embiggening cocktail recipe. Hand over the super chip and we can get you home. Processing. 
Of course! Toenails! The tiny impractical spatulas at the end of human digits. Well, have fun collecting those! And the final ingredient is... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, no, no! This cannot be correct! The last ingredient of the cocktail is marked as missing. I am not sure what to tell you. Dr. Wendell Tully purposefully wiped the last ingredient from my memory. My programming prohibits me from remembering the secret ingredient. Wendell never wanted it to fall into the wrong hands. He did not even trust me with it. The entire recipe is only in Wendell's noggin. And as I said, he has not been around for months. Sigh. Hmm. Processing. 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 Ch -ch Chicken nuggets! Wendell's scabby! His scabby has tracking functionality built in. We should now be able to find out where he is with this information. The extra memory you provided with the super chips is helping my processing. Sorry, I did not think to track Dr. Tully earlier. Allow me to connect to his scabby via my handy state-of-the-art radio modem to see what data I can pull from it. Yeah, yeah, crackle, 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 yeah. I am connected to Dr. Tully's scabby. I will now start the download. Location. X-5432, Y-74356, Z-19666. Error. Scabby. Prototype 0001A. Power loss at circuit R23. Analyzing. Error code 324. Subminiature. Axial lead resistor. Ominate model OC-93412. Failure. Call 555-0126 for technical assistance. Thank you. A minor setback. I know that location. The scabby is at Dr. Tully's favorite chair by the shed, of course. You should be able to find him there. And take this replacement fuse to repair whatever problem he is having with his scabby. He should be able to help you out with the Ambigan cocktail and get you home in no time. Good luck! I believe in you! Fare thee well, brave adventurer! To keep things clean, there's experimentation to be done. I'll need to process that.
Keep everything nice and clean! Here they are. All tucked in with the outfits and backpacks they were snatched in. As requested, they're strapped and synced with scabbies for whatever they might run into down there. You do realize the director will have our heads if he finds out we're removing company property? Can you sleep at night with what this company's doing? We need to do something. Is Dr. Tully even alive? The field team reported him missing months ago. You are prolonging the inevitable. Wendell, wherever he is, is the only hope for these kids. I'll make the delivery to his yard discreetly. No one is even going to know. I hope you know what you're doing. Wow. Thank you, Mrs. Ominent Scientist. If he hadn't saved me, I'd have been stopped by Schmetta for sure. I wonder if she knows Mom. Flash! you. <laughs> Don't think my go-to spider elimination strategy is gonna be much use on that. I'm not picky. Ha <laughs> 
Don't think my go-to spider elimination strategy is gonna be much use on that. All geared up.
You can be smart, fast, lucky, or just wear some armor. That was refreshing. All right, Shadow.
Gonna have a look around.
science is surprisingly awesome. Hey there, buddy.
It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. Take that, vampires!
Chow down. Nice and safe. Tastes good.
I'm all geared up. See what's around. Got a new one. Thank <laughs> you. 
flesh. I'm not picky.
Uh, food. Uh, uh. That was refreshing.
told you there was buried treasure here. I'm not picky. Like I'm being cooked. I can't take this heat. Technologies, Dr. Wendell Tolley, Science Division, Log 88.05.29G. Oh, or is that H? H for safety. Final evaluation tests of the spacer are going well, though I have noticed some minor errors in transcription where a non-trivial number of particles are not being conserved. I have observed no ill side effects, but making a note to check that later. Making a note! I'm still annoyed by Dr. Klein's attitude at the barbecue when I confided in him about my success. It was arrogant, as always, dismissing my breakthroughs and covalent spacing reduction, questioning the very use of shrinking technology. <laughs> what a ridiculous lack of vision. World hunger, overpopulation, global warming, just the tip of the iceberg.
It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. I want to eat that so badly, I don't even care if it makes me cry. any longer. I've become a monster. Inhuman, less than the insects that are my only companions now. I've become old, well before my years. A shrunken husk of a man, a walking corpse like Lurkin Shriek, doomed to the executioner's axe. Trudy was right all along, as she always is. And what remains? I'm a failure as a scientist. As a husband, and as a father, I have no choice but to remain here, living exiled in the backyard. I have diverted my remaining strength and will into finding a cure for this malady, this raisinification, if you will. It is my only hope now. All other research initiatives must be placed on hold, or it will be too late. It may already be too late. It is only fitting that I am so small, tiny, minuscule, just like my legacy. If only chemistry class was this easy. I'm not picky.
That was refreshing. I'm being cooked! I can't take this heat! Shadows, what you got now?
no women crying, but it's better than nothing.
Thirsty. I drink anything. I'm feeling more sciencey already. Really describe how terrible this need food <laughs> now. Just like a fruit pounder.
Do these worker ants ever get a day off? I'm not picky.
Black ant here, black ant there, black ants get everywhere. Spider elimination strategy. Surprisingly awesome?
was refreshing. Never told me science could be this exciting.
All right, Shadows. What you got now? Tastes good.
guess I didn't lose all my stuff. Take that, vampires! Check out that firefly! It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing.
I'm not picky.
science, you are off the hook. Hey there, buddy. Where are you off to, Ant? All right, Shadows. What you got now? I don't want any trouble, Ant. the new recipes. Fare thee well, brave adventurer! When you can do it the Roby's way, put your cares away and have an exponentially great day. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Thank <laughs> you. 